Hey guys, what's going on? Christina here with Enjoy Your Carry, and we are back today with another video, um, a product from a company called Side by Side, and they actually reached out to me recently to see if I'd be interested in reviewing a couple of their products, and it was exciting for me because I had actually had this exact product in my cart on Amazon for quite a while because I was interested in checking one out but never never had up to this point. So I was excited to receive these items. I've actually got another nice product from Side by Side, their Power Packer, which is like a tech pouch that I'm going to talk about in an upcoming video as well. But today we're gonna look right at this, which is an RFID travel pouch. Also came with a couple of other little goodies that I'll talk about in a second. Um, but this, without a doubt, ideally for airline travel, okay? So whenever you're gonna be needing your passport, boarding pass, and you want quick access to the things that you need most often in that situation, this is a nice, lightweight, um, secure option. It is, um, it's in this like sort of olive green color, and I believe that's the only color it's offered in, I think, I could be wrong, um, but I will link it for you guys below. Um, it's very lightweight and it has RFID blocking technology, so you don't have to worry about um, the digital sort of scanning attempts, you know, for your passport and everything, your credit cards and all that. The front, there are these two zippered compartments side by side. Um, this one obviously less deep than this one, but the same width. And they have these cute little tiny metal zippers. Um, and it's just an open pocket. They are simple, basic. Obviously, they're for flat items. Um, it's advertised showing a phone going in this front compartment, but if you have a Max phone, it's it's not going to work. Um, and I'll show you that in a second. Um, but the back side, there are two more pockets, one here and one here. They're sort of covered by this extra piece of material, but it's a stretchy, meshy material and you could basically for cards, I would think, maybe some cash, um, actually maybe not for your cards because the RFID portion is over here, um, but maybe some extra cash, some lip balm, some uh, hand cream, any sort of small quick access items that you need um, that maybe you don't want in your pockets or if you're like me, you don't wear pants with pockets on a plane because they're not usually the most comfortable, you can store them here. So it comes with this removable strap that is very easily adjustable. So there are these two points on both sides that you can just make it longer and shorter. And then you could either wear this as like a cross body pouch, you know, across your chest, across your shoulder or you would remove one of these attachments and put it here you know attach them both to the same loop it's uh hold on one sec let me get this on here and then you could wear it sort of around your neck hanging right the front of your chest this way and then this loop would be open so that you could potentially attach a couple of the other things that they sent that go with the pouch, which is a um, carabiner and a little bottle in intended for hand sanitizer, which of course you need to add yourself. And then this pretty cool lightweight keychain device. One side is a pen for any sort of um, customs forms or anything else that you need to fill out when you're traveling. And on this side, it's basically like a stylus tip. So you know how a lot of times when we're traveling, you have to use those, maybe it's an elevator or maybe it's a um, one of those screens where you have to check in using the, um, you know, mobile check-in or whatever. Um, you could use this. And it actually works really well. I just want to, this is my iPad mini. I'm just going to show you um, just really quick that it does work. Um, 
and it's nice. It's just a way to obviously have to touch a screen without having to use your fingers. So I guess the intention with this would be to hang it from here. So this is around your neck. You have your passport, your boarding pass, your phone, perhaps your other quick access items. And then these are here. Or maybe you don't need this hanging from the pouch and you just want the hand sanitizer because that's pretty handy these days, especially having this outside of the bag so that when your hands are questionable, you can get this out right away um, and not have to go digging in a bag to get the hand sanitizer. And perhaps this pen would be one of the items that you would keep back here. Um, so that's cool. I like that. So I'm going to show you here. Here is a passport, right? And the passport does not really fit in this one. Now I suppose you could. Okay. It does fit, but it's not quite as easy because when you put it in, you have to then, you know, move the zipper over top of it before you zip it. So it will fit there. And this is a 14 Pro Max case that will fit in the large sleeve. So let's also say you have a couple credit cards, right? Those could also go in the front where you have RFID protection. So now if you're traveling, your passport and your credit cards are protected as well as your phone. And in the back here, it's nice to have this being stretchy so you still have that give to allow you that extra dimension to put in maybe a lip balm, maybe a hand cream, maybe the pen, um, anything else that you can think of that you would need handy can go in either of these pockets. And when it's hanging, nothing is gonna fall out because of the way it's designed with this extra piece over top of the opening. Now, of course, if you don't wanna put your phone in here, you could kind of change the orientation of things. Put the passport in the back along with your boarding passes travel documents, other ones, um, maybe a second or third passport if you're traveling with family would absolutely fit, you know, in this back pocket. And then in the front is where you put the credit cards, some cash, um, things like that. And then maybe you are, you know, you do have pockets and your phone is in your pocket. You don't need it in the pouch and you go on. So I guess it depends on if you're traveling alone or with others, whether or not you want to put your passport in the front or the back. But it is really nice because it's very lightweight. You have that RFID protection. And then there's a lot of, there's four different pockets. So it's very versatile to sort of include whatever it is that you as a traveler, traveler need. Again, this can be totally removed or it could be oriented like this as like a neck pouch where you put one over here and wear it as a cross body pouch. And then either way, you still would be able to take the hand sanitizer and clip it to either loop so that it's there at the ready when you're traveling and you need to you know, clean your hands. So for the price, I think this is an awesome, Accessory, if you're traveling especially, like I said, you know, plane travel, um, this is where this would come in. Um, and yeah, I was pretty impressed actually with the functionality. This is also very lightweight. And when I first had it in hand, I thought, well, this actually doesn't feel very, um, it feels a little bit on the cheaper side, if I'm being honest. But it worked a lot better than I imagined, um, both the pen and the stylus tip that's here. 
You can also buy these separately by side by side and you can buy several in a pack um, for just a few dollars. So if you want to give one, you know, to all your travel companions, um, it's pretty cool. I'll try to link this as well in the description below. Let me know if you guys have any questions about this pouch. Now, of course, I did not like test this in terms of the uh, the actual RFID, you know, if it really does work, but let's assume that it does. Um, and yeah, it's a pretty cool pretty cool uh, product. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments and I'll see you guys again soon. Um, stay tuned for the Power Packer by side by side. We'll look at that one individually and then I'm going to compare it to a couple of other tech pouches that I've used um, and have at my disposal and we'll, we'll see what you guys think. Thanks again so much for your support. Please subscribe, like this video, share this video, and stay tuned for the next one. Bye.